Yo, Orbis here. Today I'm going to be ranking every track from Beatles for Sale from worst to best. Let's just get into it. So, my least favourite track I've put as Honey Don't, which is the track with Ringo on vocals. I don't want to say I dislike it, but it just doesn't do much for me. I find it very kind of meh, and sometimes I do end up skipping it. Uh, next up, Mr. Moonlight. This is another one that kind of drags. Um, I do like the vocal intro from John, I think it's quite cool and quite impressive. Uh, next, Everybody's Trying to Be My Baby. Um, this is a track sung by George. I guess there wasn't enough time for George to write an original, so this is just another meh cover. Next, Kansas City. Um, it doesn't stick out too much, but it's not as dull as the tracks I've mentioned so far. And uh, Paul's vocals add a lot of fun energy to the song. Next, Words of Love. I enjoy the vocal harmonies on this track, but it doesn't do much to set itself apart from the original by Buddy Holly. Next, Rock and Roll Music. I don't love it, but I put it as my favourite of the covers on this album just because it's very fun and it has some good vocals from John. And at this point you may realise that I've only mentioned cover tracks so far. Uh, in my opinion, the Beatles for Sale album is a good album, but it's very much brought down by the cover songs. Not only are there way too many of them, but the covers themselves aren't that impressive. Uh, and I'm glad that they calm down with the covers on the next album, Help. Next up, What You're Doing. It's decent enough, but even Paul himself said that this song is just filler, which I agree with. Um, next is Every Little Thing, which is pretty good. Um, uh, not, as, not only am I not big on the covers on this album, I don't think the originals are uh, quite as strong as the ones on A Hard Day's Night. I'm aware that the band were being overworked at the time and were just very exhausted, which I sympathise with. And I do think all the originals on this album are good, but they, uh, not many of them stand out very much. Next I've got I Don't Want to Spoil the Party, which is a great track. Uh, there's a bit of a country feel, which I quite enjoy. Also, this track is an example of something I do like about Beatles for Sale, and that's the much more solemn and pessimistic songs compared to previous albums, which is a nice change of tone, I think. Next, I'm a Loser, which is another sad song. Next, Babies in Black, which is a clear attempt at writing something a bit more mature, and I think is a definite highlight. Next, No Reply, which is a great opener, because it sets the mood immediately. And also I feel that a lot of Beatles lyrics up to this point were quite vague, but this one tells a very distinct story which where you can actually picture it in your mind, which I like. Next, I'll Follow the Sun, which is a song that Paul had written years prior and brought back for this album due to the band being short on material. Despite that, it is one of the best tracks and has a very mature feel to it which sets it apart from other early Beatles songs. And my favourite song on the album is eight days a week. So this is another instant of my favourite song on the album probably being the most popular one. But I think it's very clear that this is the track on the album that had the most effort and time put into it. Uh, it's not just a throwaway track like the like most on the album. Um, probably because they knew it was going to be this single. But yeah, it's, it's definitely the best on the album. So yeah, that was my ranking of every song on Beatles for Sale. Um, I know I was a bit more negative compared to other Beatles album rankings I've done, but I do like the album. Um, sorry it took me a while to get this one out, but hopefully the help one will be out soon, and uh, yeah, I will see you soon. Goodbye.